Hi, I'm Chris Maddock, designer of the Harmony House. Hi, I'm Michael Bowsfield with Cascadia Windows. I'm the technical representative and we're going to be doing a tour today through our manufacturing facility. So come on in and I'll introduce you to Mike Battistel, our Vice President of Operations. So come on in guys, we'll show you around. <coughs> So I'll take you for a tour of the uh, manufacturing plant. We'll start off at the other end where we, where we paint the lineals and receive the lineals at the start of the production line. So these are the pultruded fiberglass lineals that we purchased from inline fiberglass in Ontario, Canada. They arrive in pallets similar to this and they come unpainted, so it's raw fiberglass. The first step in the manufacturing process is the painting. But prior to painting the fiberglass lineals, we need to inspect them to ensure that there's no defects in the fiberglass and that there hasn't been any damage during transport. After they've been inspected, they come over here to the paint area where they're thoroughly wiped down prior to painting to ensure that there's no contaminants on the fiberglass. Once they're cleaned and ready for painting, they move over to the paint line, which is over here. So after the painting process is completed, the painted lineals move to this station where they're thoroughly inspected for any paint deficiencies or lack of coverage in paint and other uh, things like that. Maggie over here is currently doing that. She's looking at each lineal closely before it moves on down the line. The building envelope is the exterior surface of a building that separates the indoors from the outdoors. In the Harmony House, the building envelope plays a crucial role. It reduces energy use by being highly insulated and airtight, thereby minimizing heat loss in the winter and heat gain in the summer, ultimately reducing heating and cooling costs. In order to reduce energy use, we must reduce the amount of heat that escapes through the building envelope. This is done in part by increasing the insulation value of exterior walls, floors and ceilings, and by incorporating more insulation, and in some cases, higher performance insulating materials. The ability of an insulation material or a building assembly to resist heat flow is determined by its thermal resistance or R value. The higher the R value of a building assembly, the greater its ability to resist heat flow and the more heat it saves. In the Harmony House, the wall assemblies will have a composite R value in the range of R40 to 45 and the ceilings will have an R value of around R60.
This is where our Sawyer cuts all the lineals to size for each individual window. Som is doing the milling and drilling of this window here. He's drilling all the holes, pre-drilling all the holes, where the fasteners are going to hold the frame together. And what you're seeing here is some milling out the frame for the weep hole locations. The weep holes provide drainage from within the frame. So after the milling and drilling process is complete, the lineals are rolled out here on dollies, ready for frame preparation. One of the technical aspects of the windows is the fiberglass frame's ability to accept styrofoam insulation. We use EPS foam insulation in all the primary cavities of the frames. The frames being made of fiberglass are stronger than vinyl, so they don't need any webbing or intermittent frame uh, components uh, or solid pieces within the main cavity. So this larger, more open frame cavity allows for uh, full insulation fill all the way down the frame. The thermal improvement gained by filling this hollow with foam is around 25% better than if there was no foam in the same frame cavity. So it's not the end-all be-all in terms of performance, but it is significant. And as a low-cost improvement, it's, it's an excellent addition to the window from a technical perspective. This is Jake, our hardware in installer. His role revolves around one of the key technical aspects of the windows, and that's our hardware. The hardware used on this, which is one of the windows for the Harmony House, is European-style multi-point hardware. Multi-point hardware has multiple locking points where when the owner closes the window and turns one handle, multiple lock points all the way around the perimeter of the window lock simultaneously. This provides fantastic air tightness and water penetration resistance. It's also an excellent user convenience, particularly for tall windows where two hand or more handles would be out of reach, but one handle is more convenient. So this is a triple glazed sealed unit. It has three lights of glass with an airspace between each of the lights. There's an argon gas fill between each of the glass lights, which increases its R value as well. There are two low E coatings on this particular sealed unit. Uh, it is a 180 coating on one of the panes of glass and a 180 coating on another pane of glass, which allows for um, good solar heat gain, which they want on this particular project. So after the windows are glazed and the glass is in place, the glazing stops are placed onto the frame to essentially hold the glass in place. Often inefficient, leaky windows and doors make us feel cold in our homes. Try replacing old windows with new, high-performance Energy Star windows. Simply using blinds, curtains, or even putting on a sweater can also make a room more comfortable. Feeling comfortable is key to reducing the energy we use to heat our homes.
Another successful installation by Cascadia Windows. Hi. Today is a milestone for this project because we installed the first window. So for this week, uh, we will continue the warp free uh, work. Uh, we did uh, a lot of uh, heating duct installation in the last two weeks. So this week, the electrician will start install the electrical wire over there. And the uh, electrical ducting will be continued. Uh, we will finish by this week. So the, the heating duct. So he will continue to finish the heating duct over here in the kitchen. Uh, you, you can see he runs a riser. And this week he will complete the last branch and install the grill. And the will will install all the port light, the housing for the port light and all the wire. And at the same time, the security, we install a low voltage wire for the security of this house. We also, uh, we, we also uh, start this week and we will install the central vacuum today, uh, also start by this week. Uh, at the same time, you can see some of the water line have been installed. So we will continue the water night, uh, the plumber will continue his uh, roughing in this week and most likely he can finish by this week.